Hi, I'm Sensi Mike from Team Black Belt. I just want to talk to you a little bit about uh, confidence and building confidence in children, and in particular how sort of martial arts, how Team Black Belt can help children, uh, confidence to grow and to thrive. So the first thing is really trying to work out what confidence is and what it means. Certainly from my perspective, I kind of think it's um, it's a feeling inside. It's a feeling of certainty that you can cope with what's going on. Um, so i just say that again, a feeling of certainty that you can cope with what's going on around you, you can deal with the situations and you're going to feel happy and sure about yourself. So uh, we break it down into sort of three stroke four different elements to try to build confidence with children. And the first one is their posture and the way that they use their body. So if you've ever seen anybody, of course you have, if you've ever seen anybody with a headache, um, you know, they, they, they take this position, their head goes down, their, their head goes to the side, their hands uh, go up to their head, uh, and, and you know, it, it's a, a poor posture, and because you're in pain, and that's what happens, you start to, to do this, and a, a lot of children, um, you know, when they're at school, they assume this p position, you know, which is very similar to having a headache, you start shutting down, you start feeling bad about yourself. So uh, we, we, when we use martial arts and when we, we at Team Black Belt, we, we, we're getting them to do this posture. You know, we're getting them to move, uh, getting them to develop their body. We, we, we're getting air circulating around so that they, they get out of this standing there. You know, even when we're standing still, we're standing upright. We're standing up to attention. We're keeping a good posture. Uh, and of course, as soon as we start moving, that, that, then that's the exercise coming in as well. The, the, the second part of, of the confidence, uh, you know, after your posture is, I have, have, mentioned it just, just then, is breathing. Okay, so uh, the way that you use your body, the way that you're breathing, if you're taking in great big lungfuls of air, everything's going to be a much rosier place. You know, if you stop breathing and start shutting down if you stop breathing you die you know your body goes into a panic mode it starts to stop working things as, as well as they could do so you just start feeling bad so one of the things that we do is you know even at the start of lessons we're doing star jumps and warm-ups and kicking and punching and, and loads of activities loads of physical stuff going on so that you can really start using their body taking great big lungfuls of air <gasps> when we're exercising so that the body starts to feel really good because it gets fully oxygenated the opposite of being dead really um the third stroke fourth and fourth part of things about pe people and children being more confident okay the way they use their brain okay two elements to this one is the way they think what they are thinking and the stories that them telling they're telling themselves you know like you've got a thing on one shoulder saying you're really good you're really great i love it it's a great day and the other one's going going no you're horrible it's useless and you're a useless human being at team black belt in martial arts we're trying to teach people to have listen to the good voices you know promote the good voice be stronger you would never say half the bad things to someone else that you let your brain say to you. So we try and teach them to notice when they're doing the bad things and try to input, input more of the good stuff, you know. We, we, we look for a hundred different ways to say well done to somebody. Great job, fantastic, I love that, that's great. So we try to re-emphasise the positive, positive thinking and positive attitude that you have and just try to not feed the wolf that is, is the horrible negative one. And the second way for, for using your brain is to gain knowledge. So uh, a child can be perfectly happy and confident around the family dog. As soon as you go outside and see another dog, ah, it all goes horribly wrong. So gaining knowledge and trying to learn about the way that dogs work and the, the best way for them to behave around a dog that they don't know starts to fill them, oh, I'm confident I can get some good experience of this. And of course, in martial arts, we talk about people bullying. We talk about people being horrible to them. And we train and we talk about how to deal with certain situations. And even, you know, <laughs> worst comes to the worst, how to punch somebody if they need to. And all of a sudden, that knowledge and that, uh, that understanding that they can cope if things go wrong means they're more confident. So I know I've kind of talked on for a little bit. If you've got this far of the video, fantastic. But listen, a feeling of certainty that they can cope. The way you use your body and your posture and the way you walk and the way you move the way they breathe or don't breathe, 
the two parts of their uh, that using their brain. Okay, one is to um, is to emphasize the positive parts of, of of their thought processes. I'm going to have a great day today. I'm going to do something great at school. It's going to be fantastic. As opposed to I hate it. It's horrible. And the other side uh, for your brain is to gain knowledge and experience of the things that you're likely to or possibly will come into or the things you're scared about doing and learn about how to deal and cope with them. So uh, that's it for me. So if you managed to get this far in the video, fantastic. Thanks very much. My name's Sensi Mike. I'm from Team Black Belt. And uh, of course, we're always starting new starters. And we'll start new starters after Christmas now. If you want to get your name down for it, just go to our website. It's teamblackbelt.com. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.